If you have a recurrence in a mastectomy site, particularly one that's been reconstructed, think of it this way. Think of my fist as being the implant and your skin and the fatty layer underneath the skin draped over the top of it. And even if we include the nipple or real area, like my knuckle here, you can see and feel that area very, very well. With a mastectomy, we did not want to leave on the inside any obvious breast tissue. So therefore, sitting on top of the implant may be the muscle of the chest wall, because often the implants are put underneath the muscle. There may be a substance called alloderm, which is artificial skin or human skin that's been irradiated that's also to help cover the area. But in general, it's a layer of your normal fatty tissue right underneath the skin. So therefore, it's actually a relatively thin area. So that if you have a recurrence there and you do breast self-examination, you ought to be able to see it. And if you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you may be able to feel it. Also, you're going to want to feel in the armpit area here because you can have lymph nodes that can recur. And if they get big enough, uh, you know, even like a small golf ball or other, most people can easily detect that themselves. So the self-examination is very important. When your uh, follow-up exams with your physician, your physician should be palpating or feeling the whole mastectomy site, including for the lymph node area to see if we can feel a recurrence there because cancers can recur in the lymph nodes either after a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. And then another way of detecting a recurrence is breast MRI where it may be more subtle, not easily noticed on the clinical exam. And in those who have had locally advanced breast cancers, it's a good way of looking for local regional recurrence. Did you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? In fact, today, there's a way to identify whether or not you'd benefit from that chemotherapy based on the biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX assay and how to discuss the results with your physician, just press this button.